Hey there, welcome back my fellow Kryptonians. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna to be talking about something incredibly important. It's saving your coins. When it comes to it, I believe if you've earned more than your initial investment, it's time to start securely saving your coins. You never know who's gonna get hacked. You never know what service is gonna get taken down. You never wanna be at a loss for your money. So today we're gonna to be talking about treasure specifically, this wonderful little tool here. Great gift that I was given and it's just, it's basically like someone giving you your own bank. It's amazing. So treasure is a hardware wallet. It's not the original, but it, it basically is the original consumer and most secure hardware wallet out there. There are multiple. I do like the Ledger Nano S. If you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out down in the description below. But for right now, I'm gonna be focusing on the treasure because that's what I use personally. So as we can see here on the coin market cap, we are down with everything. Everything is down for the day. Pretty much. If you guys look at these days and consider them sales days, then that's a good thing to look at it. Um, if you trust and believe in a coin, now's the time to buy that coin because you're getting it at a severe discount. You know, essentially, this today's the sale day for everything. All right. So if we look at um, prices on GDAX and on Coinbase here, we can see Bitcoin and, and Ethereum are both kind of struggling, same way that they have been for a while. And Litecoin is as well. Everything is down here. My current uh, balance on uh, Coinbase here is 147 bucks, so that's doing well. I put in about 150 after fees. It came out to about 103, so I'm up four bucks technically from a few days. We're going to be securing our coins from Coinbase. We're also going to be securing our altcoins from our Binance account. I know that's why you guys are here. I know that's what the title is about: how to secure BTC, ETH, and altcoins onto Treasure Hardware Wallet. Let's just get right into it. We're going to start with securing my BTC. So BTC on Treasure. If we go to the official wallet here the Safari browser is actually not supported. So make sure if you're doing it, you don't see this. If it says your browser's not supported, that means it's not supported. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up in a browser that is supported. We'll pop in a Chrome here, and we're gonna go ahead and connect my Treasure Wallet here. So I pop my Treasure Wallet right in here, connects it, you'll see that the Treasure will show up here. Gotta, gotta get it to focus. Uh, I can do this here. This will help us out a little bit. And boom, you see? That I already have my pin on here. It shows up my pin there, and it shows that I can go ahead and put my pin on the app. I'll go ahead and put that in real quick. You guys don't need to see what I'm doing here. Don't worry about that. I'm just putting in my fancy pin there. All right, pin is in, and it's going to go ahead and load up my account here. So you can see I have $40 in my account here, which is great because that $40 was transferred in at $35. Bucks. So technically, I'm up for the day. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer over my Bitcoin. So I want to receive Bitcoin. And it gives me my little address here. You can go ahead and copy this address here. If you guys want to send me some Bitcoin, here's my address. Go for it. All right, and then we're going to go into Coinbase. If you guys don't know this already, you never want to send out from Coinbase because they're going to give you fees. So we're going to go into GDAX, which is the same company, and we're going to go to my BTC to USD account. I'm going to go ahead and deposit Bitcoin into my account from my Coinbase account. I'm going to deposit all of it, so 0 0.008. Five five three nine nine. I'm gonna get all of it. It'll process immediately. Boom! Immediately transferred. You can see there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw that directly into my BTC address. BTC addresses are not long. Just verify and make sure that it's correct. Uh, oh, it's on Chrome actually. Where's my Chrome extension? Here it is. Three A four C eight two V W Z P D F D. Okay, J T T K. LEP W9AC01142. Okay, the reason you want to verify this is if you are somebody who downloads stuff that maybe you shouldn't be downloading on your computer, you can actually download malware, and that malware could have a code in it that actually changes your um, Bitcoin. So I know that it's not a common type of malware, but I actually have seen people, um, and this is why two step is so important, but I have seen people have uh, downloaded stuff from sites that say like, free mining of Bitcoin. And obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, you don't know. Um, and it will change the wallet address. And now it doesn't really affect Safari much, but it affects multiple different browsers. So be careful. Don't download anything you shouldn't download. And if you're going to be transferring Bitcoin, verify those transfers. All right. So that transfer went through on GDAX side. So we'll go ahead and go into my treasure wallet here. And we'll see if that show has shown up yet. Come on, treasure wallet. Let me go back to my account. Oh, I have to hit continue on my treasure wallet. See, super secure. Okay, continue on my treasure wallet. Let's go back to my transactions here. And I'll give it a refresh. It doesn't look like it's in here yet. Again, Bitcoin takes a little bit to transfer, a little bit longer than ever. Okay, that's fine. We'll give it a second. We'll, we'll check back on the Bitcoin transfer in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and actually disconnect my treasure here because now I'm going to go and transfer my Ethereum and I need to use a different wallet. So 
disconnect. So we're back into the Treasure website and we're gonna go ahead and go to my Ethereum wallet. That is the company that Treasure uses for their wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Treasure again and this will allow me to transfer my Ethereum. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in there, connect my device. It's gonna ask me for my pin again. I'm gonna go ahead and export that public key after I do my pin. Okay, that pin is entered and you, as you can see here, the Treasure gives you multiple different Ethereum wallets. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it all into the first wallet there. That's the wallet I'm using. You can see that I already have my Tron and my Poe in there and don't worry, I am gonna show you how to transfer altcoins. This is all three coins that most people wanna know how to transfer. The main two and then all coins. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and send my Ethereum to this account address here. This is my Ethereum address. Again, I'm gonna go back to GDAX. Do not transfer from Coinbase. If you have a Coinbase account, use GDAX's website and transfer from GDAX. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit my Ethereum from my Coinbase account directly into my GDAX account and that is transferred automatically with no fees. And then I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw that to my Ethereum address and I'll copy that Ethereum address in there and verify real quick. And we are all set. Okay, address is verified. I'm gonna go ahead and send the max amount. Give me that two-factor authentication code again, that one-time goodness code. Wait for that to come in, come on. Real time. I don't know why, but it got slower. It used to be faster. All right, there we go. We got that code and we'll pop that in here. Where is it? There it is. Boom. Pop that code in there, sent, and we'll go back to my Ether wallet here, and we should get my Ether, just a second, Ether transfers much faster. We'll go back into the treasure, pop in the connected account, go into my export, and there you can see, my Ether has transferred successfully, already updated right there perfectly. So I have my Ether balance here, you can see there, and now I have my altcoins. Now this is a moment that I believe some of you guys have been waiting for. If you're looking to transfer your altcoins from Binance, this is how to do it. So we're gonna go into Binance here. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of these other windows that I don't need anymore. Get out of here, Coinbase, get out of here. All right, we're in Binance. I have Tron here. I want to withdraw Tron. Right now the Tron withdrawal rate, I think is 124 Tron they're charging you. Let's see what they're charging right now. Um, if I want to withdraw Tron, and I do the max, they're charging me 136, so their fee went up. So I'll probably stop withdrawing Tron for the next couple of days or so, but I'm gonna withdraw it here because you guys wanna see how it is. So you're gonna send it to the exact same Ethereum address, and it's going to take a little bit to come through because it's not going the same way that everything else goes through. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this here. I'll take the hit of that 136, I'm gonna use my Google authentication code. And again, I've said this before and I'll say it again, Every single thing that has to do with cryptocurrency, use as many redundant security tactics as you can so you don't have to deal with potential loss of money. Just don't. Once you, once you deal with your loss of money, you're not gonna be happy about it. So keep that in mind. So I have used a confirmation code and now I also have an email confirmation for me to do. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that email confirmation. That's gonna go through, it'll take a second there. You can see here it's verified my confirmation on my email account and we are all set to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my withdrawals and I'm gonna select my Tron here and you can see that my withdrawal is currently processing for Tron. If I go to my Ether wallet here and I refresh, it's probably gonna get stuck loading actually to be honest with you, but that's fine. We're gonna go into it here, export my account. We'll go back into my wallet and then All right, guys, that's it. I paused waiting at a minute and 30, and it took two minutes exactly. And here we go. We have my 8,259 Tron, 1816 Po. If we go into my uh, little panel here of my tokens, I can click from view tokens, and I can see all of my Tron tokens are right there. So everything is transferred successfully. My Tron is where it wanted to be. My Ether is where I want it to be. My Bitcoin is where it wants to be. All of it saved on my treasure wallet. None of it saved on any of my exchanges. And even on my Hashflare account here, when I do my withdrawal in the settings, you can adjust your BTC and ETH wallet. I recommend sending them to the blockchain wallet. If you've ever used blockchain, I think it's a really good wallet. And then from there, go ahead and send that into your, your treasure wallet, just so you don't have to worry too much about the transfer rates. Because there is a fee, but it's going to be safer to put it onto a different wallet. But you guys can do whatever you want. Again, this is all just education-based. I love uh, Binance's new setup, by the way, their new interface. I think it's a lot better. It's a lot easier to not make a mistake. 
about what you're you're going to withdraw, deposit, or trade, which is great. And you can do everything right from your account here. So as soon as this updates, it shows me already available balance here is zero because it knows that it's in transfer. But that will get out of my account shortly. And then hopefully we get back on track with all these cryptos. Right now, this is the great thing to see is the crypto coin or crypto market right now is under. Everything is negative, but the total market cap is still at $553 billion. So that market cap is climbing again, like we talked about. It hit its low, it's gonna keep climbing and hitting its high. I think we're gonna have a few more crashes before we hit a trillion for sure. But once we hit a trillion after that crash and then we get back to a trillion, that's when we'll finally see some actual forward momentum with this market. Guys, remember, make sure you secure your wallets. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I also leave down the Help Center for Treasure because I think they're super beneficial. That link for Ledger is down below as well. And subscribe so you guys can see some more content on how to education and what I think about new coins that are up and coming. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.